It's ten past eight. That's rather beautiful, isn't it? George Benson, in your eyes. Now, I'm sure that you, like me, love capturing special moments on film possibly memory card in these digital days uh, whether it's memories of holidays or birthday parties or weddings but how often do you stop and take a snap of your everyday surroundings your local park the shop on the corner your village pub well that's what my next guests have been doing in their town and the feedback has been amazing husband and wife paul and lisa hans from hinkley welcome to the studio and thank you very much indeed for coming in morning Thanks great morning. to see well you're joking it's just <laughs> lovely to see you because i think well well let's start at the very beginning where does your interest in photography stem from as a child yeah um, always loved photography both of us um, separately from each other and obviously come together through marriage and with uh, taking loads of photographs between us. But were they the photographs, Lisa, like we all take of, you know, this one's my mum and this is my yeah, mum and dad and, and that's our with, dog and stuff? To begin with, my grandparents were my biggest influence. They had a camera and wherever we went, they took photos and they had carrier bags full of old photos. And we'd spend probably a day sometimes going through them all the time. And it was just a really big thing in the family to, to photograph the progress of you know as we all grew and the, the family developed and since then you know as a teenager then i was given a camera to take my own photos and i just flew i loved it absolutely loved it so uh, we just went from there really we both had the same interest brilliant uh, so how did you meet did you meet f- through photography no no um well <laughs> <laughs> oh i've asked a proper question you here. Go on, yeah, we well, need we've to known know. each other since school because I had a bit of a thing for Lisa when we were at school. I went but to school with her sister. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I was a bit of a lad, so she wouldn't have anything to do with me. <laughs> so I had to wait until I was in my 30s. <laughs> no, really? I kept yeah. hanging on for 15 years. You bided your time. Good girl, Lisa. Oh, it was worth the wait, though, wasn't it? <laughs> and, 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 of course you were. Um, and now, now tell me how... Because, you, were, Paul, you were just telling me, you've got people now looking at your photos from Canada, from Australia, from Florida, I mean, for, like, all over the world. So what what have you got what kind of photos have you got and where are they and how are people looking at them well it all started um when we uh started at hinkley college doing photography doing a photography course and we were just walking around practicing taking photographs of our town uh, and i started posting some on my facebook page and my friends were trying to guess where they were in hinkley just because I, t- I was zooming right in on some places and taking some unusual photographs from different perspectives and ended up with a little bit of a competition so I started trying to post some really awkward photos <laughs> that people couldn't recognise or what I thought they wouldn't recognise and um, then one of my friends who is also into photography um, posted a picture and started doing the same and then he suggested to me about starting a group up so I spoke to my wife, Lisa, and both agreed it would be a good idea. And immediately there was no deliberation about it. We just made the title Hinkley Photographed. Straight to the point. From yeah, that, so from that moment on, the on <laughs> we've just been spurred on by the number of people that are joining our page and following our artwork. I think what's made it grow the most as well is we started off with these photos around Hinkley now and I came across some old vintage photos of Hinkley taken from some from the 30s, 40s, some from the 1900s and um, I put all those on there and it immediately got amazing feedback. People just seem to love looking at nostalgia um, and, and that just helps it, gr- it helps it grow, doesn't it? So it's nice to look back and you know what it looks like now it's nice to sort of get the comparison is there a lot of then and now i mean they've not bulldozed the best bits of hinkley no there's a few that have gone you know i mean there were some beautiful cinemas and there was some really nice architecture which has you know unfortunately been replaced in the 70s with newer buildings but if you look there is still some really nice places um, along station road and in the town center there are still some really old buildings so if you do look the features are there and, and do do you deliberately try and take the pictures of the building or have you got people in there as well sometimes I mean, if people are there you know they're there um you, you tend to do a bit of papping don't you in the town yeah, center I walk up through people. castle street and i'll put my zoom lens on full and i'll stay hidden so i get the most natural images of people so they're not expecting the photograph to be taken they're not posing they're not smiling so you get to see them as you would as you were walking through the street yourself without the camera there what a good this is a great thing to do it's, it's a bit like being a spy and yeah. everybody that's on our group well if the people that i photographed aren't on the group they tend to tag them in it so that brings them in to look and it's years ago when we were growing up, 
everybody used to read the Hinkley Times. I mean, people still do. And there used to be a big thing, especially on New Year's Eve when people were out partying. They would try to get in the paper and you'd always look for your photograph. And we're producing a similar thing here, but electronically, directing to people's homes at the cost of nothing more than their own broadband connection. And largely, but if people are already on Facebook and they're, and they're already mm. members and they already do that, then they've yeah. got access to, to what you're doing anyway. What, I mean, it started, it sounds to me, a little bit kind of by accident and you've now got this following. What, yeah. Where are you hoping to go with it? Um, well, the, the idea behind it, as we got with, with it, was to promote Hinkley as a nice place because morale is so low at the moment. There are shops closing. You know, we've been in a recession. Things have been difficult. So we're just trying to show that Hinkley's a nice area and because we've had such a good feedback from it so far and it's still growing um we're hoping now to start expanding so we're going to cover Hinkley and then we're going to look into doing the, the Hinkley and Bosworth as a borough so that's going to include surrounding villages and, and Bosworth and because there's some absolutely beautiful villages well, surrounding. You've got Burbage Common on your doorstep. Yes, yeah, we've oh, been, been down there. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah. snow we and we've snow. got some amazing photos from that. Yeah. We like to capture the sky, the dramatic skyline and um, we'll look for the most artistic viewpoints and we'll actually spend a few hours down there taking a three four five hundred photos and we'll return home and we'll open up adobe lightroom or photoshop and we'll spend the next week editing the photos <laughs> i think this is great I, I, is there any chance of it turning into a business because is it not just a hobby at the moment well we're actually in the process of trying to lay the um the groundwork for our business for when we finish college um, i mean we're planning to go and do the hnd so we're looking at another three years but we also want a bit of part-time work to support us through that. So we've started up our company called Hands-On Photography. It's not an official business yet. We've just um, bought, we've bought the URL, handsonphotography.co.uk. And um, I suppose we're just trying to do the work. We want to do it properly. We want to do it professionally. More importantly, we want to show people how great our artwork is and what, how much we can give back to people for what they're willing to pay um, at that point when we get to it. I was going to say, it sounds like they're getting a lot out of your work already uh, in just kind of a, in a very kind of casual, informal kind mm. of a way. So if you formalise it and turn it into a business, yeah. will you do the kind of, you know, wedding-y kind of family occasions kind of stuff? That's what we're looking at, stuff? yeah. I mean, we've had a few inquiries for christenings and weddings, so they, they are starting to, to come through now. So I think they're seeing that what we're doing is good and, and yeah, and we're only getting better as well. So, you know, as time goes by, you know, we'll get to... Bigger and better. And it's a great that. story because it's one of those, you know, sometimes people t people head out with big ideas and they're going to do this and they're going to do that. And when they achieve it, that's lovely because they've seen it already in their head. But it strikes me as you two, you kind of started something, it got a bit bigger and it got a bit bigger and now you know you're looking at you're looking at making a business out of it, which is fantastic. Did you have any idea where where you would finish? Not in terms of the Facebook page, no, because, you know, that, that was just started as, you know, a little bit of fun just to showcase uh, some of our photography. and so it's and like a gallery it, for us. So mm. that, that's, that's took off way beyond. We did have ever intentions of going into business, um, whether it be bread and butter money while we're studying or, you know, I'm sure once we're finished studying and we've got our final degree... I don't know, you know, so I'm, I'm, my interest is in journalism and that thing, but then again, you can mix journalism now with... Um, wedding photography, so, you know, it's all done in a repertoire. That's so. exactly what we had at ours. Yes. We, we had um, journalistic <clears throat> photography at ours rather than, you know, parties of people standing in rows and, and what have you. And it is quite the thing, yes. I have to say. Yeah. And they do work. Yeah. But would you encourage other people to take their cameras out into their towns and, and just start snapping away? Absolutely. We've always said on the Facebook page, please, please upload your photos. And they have done. We've had some beautiful photos on there from some of our followers, you know, with the snow and, and even beforehand. And um, we did have some the other day he uploaded a, a fantastic video from the 1930s all in colour no absolutely really? amazing with Hinkley Carnival um, there was a party on there there was another parade going through town absolutely amazing and again it just captured people didn't it and it, it went wild. So, oh, no, it So, won't. yeah, th thank you to the gentleman that uploaded that on there because it's, it's brilliant and it's lovely to see. You well, know, people will be looking at great-grandparents and all sorts of yeah, things absolutely, looking at that. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. We brilliant. have had people watching that video saying, I'm not quite sure, but I think my grandma or I may even be in that video. Yes, as a tiny tot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant. How exciting. It's gone completely viral, that video has. Yeah. We've had 50, 60 different comments um underneath the video and 
20 to 30 shares and everybody's watching it it's gone crazy well let's make it go even more crazy yes. how can we find you where are you we're on facebook and um, we have a page and it's just called hinkley photograph